for the Saturday morning edition of The Law and You. The guys are back <laughs> with us. You know their names, attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Greg looks a lot happier this Saturday. Oh, I know. You're the yeah. hardest working guy in show business. I just never really get a day off. <laughs> <laughs> never. Work. Never. You just work, work, work. Not quite, but yeah, <laughs> here a lot. But it's always exciting to be here with you guys. And mm -hmm. of course, on, on Saturday morning, Eyewitness News, our big um, show here. Oh, oh. We love this. We love it. We've got a question to answer this morning. This involves uh, an injury on the job here. I work at a local hospital and I injured my back lifting a patient from a wheelchair. I told my supervisor the other day, but I did not fill out a report. I did a report three days later and the hospital is giving me a hard time about paying my bills and it's getting work and I don't think I can get work. Help. What does Lisa and Scranton do? It sounds like a, a lot of complications here. Uh, yeah, with this Lisa, pick up the phone, call a lawyer, uh, because you're in for a long, protracted uh, litigation on this. And the reason being is you didn't give them immediate notice. You didn't tell them about this injury until three days later. So how does your employer, you know, your employer's going to say, well, how do we know you actually got hurt on the job and you didn't get hurt at home or you didn't get hurt somewhere else? That's the problem that you have whenever you get hurt and you don't tell somebody about it immediately on the job. So, um, and, and you know, not saying that it didn't happen, but when I'm saying you're in for, you're in for a long litigated litigation on this. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, she said, hey, I report, I told my supervisor, that's not good enough. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I just got done litigating a comp case where, you know, there was reports of an injury a day, you know, that day and then a next day and they want to see it in writing. So take the time, fill out the accident report. If you have a witness, have the witness, you know, because it, the employer is going to turn this on you as if you're lying. And you're going to be the one, you know, uh, you know, defending your, yourself. So you have to take the steps. If you're injured, I don't care if you stub your toe, fill out a report. I mean, it's that simple, it's that easy. And then if you step into court, your notice requirement we met in the case is going to go in a lot better for you. All right, good advice. And our viewers who may need legal help and they need to call you guys, how can they do that? Call us, 570-714-HURT. See us on the web at 714hurt.com. You know, in this day, day and age, where, you know, phones, texting, everything, there's really no yeah. excuse. I mean, you could send a text message to your boss. I mean, that could possibly qualify under, you know, it under will. this. It will. I mean, but there has to be some type of documentation. All right, good advice. Results matter. Attorneys, Greg Fellerman Great and coffee. Ed Saramboli. Great coffee. Enjoy the coffee today, Thank guys. You. We'll see you Monday. <laughs> the best. Don't forget, PAHomepage.com or the Law New Hotline are open.